Hello everyone. Thank you so much for joining me for this vinyasa class, Ladder Flow Style. If you're new to ladder flows, what they are are a series of yoga postures that will move through repeatedly, but in each round that we repeat a sequence, we will then add on a new series of postures. So you can think of it kind of like learning a dance. You start off with the first few movements of choreography, practice it, and then in the next session, you add on and keep going until you finish the dance. These ladder classes are my absolute favorite to create because I get to be a little bit creative with transitions between asanas. I've included some really fun movements in this flow that I think you will enjoy. All you're going to need for practice today is a yoga mat and some clear space around you. And finally, this class is part of my Heal and Grow yoga series. I'll include a link to the playlist for this 20 day yoga series in the description box below for you to explore. Whenever you're ready, I'll meet you lying on your back with your knees bent. So make our way onto our back. Keeping your knees bent, have your fingertips just skimming your heels. Let your lower back just relax, let your hips sink. And begin to listen to the sound of your breath. Moving in through your lungs into your lower belly and out through your mouth. taking a moment to slow down before we begin to move quite fluidly. Taking a moment to center ourselves with our breath. Keeping a deep, fluid breath. Draw your knees in towards your chest. Grab the outer edges of your feet. Come into happy baby pose. Draw your knees out and down towards your mat to open up your hips. Keep your lower back rooting into the mat and let your shoulders draw down just so slightly to help you pull those knees down. Maintain a nice, tall spine relaxing the backs of our necks and breathe. Release your happy baby. Hug your knees in just so tightly. A little rock side to side is always nice. Then use your right palm and guide your knees over to the right. Reach your left arm out. I'm just breathing into this twist to warm up. Inhale, come back through to center. Give your knees a hug. And draw those knees over to the left using your left palm. Reach over to the right, maybe shift your gaze. Draw your knees back through to center. Give them a nice squeeze. And bring the bottoms of your feet into your mat. Use your elbows to assist you on up. Keep your fingertips pointing towards the front of your mat. Toes rooted into the ground and just use your palms on the mat here to draw your shoulders down and back. Just open up through your heart space. Nice little shoulder opening. Shifting your gaze just upwards towards the sky or the ceiling. Inhale. And exhale, let your hands relax. Come into a seated position with your knees bent. Maybe grab your toe or the outer edge of your foot, whatever feels best here. Just begin to slowly straighten out. I'm starting with the right leg, straighten out that right leg. Just feeling a nice stretch in the backs of our hamstrings. Maintain a tall spine. Again, if you want to 
alleviate a little bit of tension here. Just take a slight bend in your knee. Inhale. And exhale, release. We'll go to the other side. Straightening out that left leg. Maybe just drawing that leg a little bit closer towards your forehead. And exhale, release. Now we're going to start our ladder flow sequence from here. So this is considered our starting line. So grab your toes or the outer edges of your feet. And we're just going to do the same thing we did, but with both legs. If you can balance, do your best here. Do your best to straighten out the legs, balancing on your buttocks, balancing on your sit bones. Find a nice tall spine, straighten out through the legs, inhale. Exhale, release the legs, stretch them out long, inhale, reach your arms up, Dandasana. Exhale, reach forward, forward fold over your legs, maintain that tall spine and breathe. Inhale, reach your arms up all the way back behind you. Bring your fingers so that they're facing the front of the mat. Bend your knees, set your feet on the ground. Lift up for a reverse tabletop. Breathe, lift those hips up, squeeze your glutes. Inhale. Exhale, lower the hips. Pivot your right fingertips so that they face the back of your mat. And we're just going to sweep our left arm all the way over, coming into a tabletop. Fun little transition. Release the curl of your toes. Inhale for cow. Exhale, round and curl. Push the mat away. Inhale. And exhale. From here, curl your toes under. Send your hips up and back, down dog. Maybe take a few pedals. In this first round of our ladder class, we will take some time just to ease into each pose. And then in subsequent rounds, we'll be able to move through them a little bit quicker. Inhale, reach your right leg up and back. Bend your knee, open up your hip. Exhale, draw your right knee in towards your chest. Step it between your hands. Bring that back foot on a 45 degree angle. Square your hips, inhale, rise up. Warrior one, Virabhadrasana one. Reach your fingertips tall, but instead of bringing your shoulders to your ears, let your shoulders relax just so slightly and lengthen through your neck. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Palms to frame that front right foot. Send that left leg down to your mat. You'll toe your right foot to the outer edge of your mat. Sink into your hips, lizard lunge. Draw your shoulder blades together. And if you want a deeper stretch, maybe find a twist through the hips. And now from your lizard lunge, do your best to pivot on your right heel. Maybe bring that right foot back just a little bit to ease off the hips. Pivoting, pivoting, pivoting all the way until our right knee can stack over top of our left. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, find a forward fold over that left leg. Feel a nice deep opening through that left hamstring. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, return your feet to your mat back at the top of our ladder sequence. Repeating that movement, going through, moving on the left side now. Grabbing the outer edges of your feet or your toes. Find your straddle balance. Straighten out through the legs, inhale. Exhale, bring your feet to your mat. Extend them out nice and long. Inhale, reach up, Dandasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach your arms up all the way back behind you, fingertips towards the front of your mat. Lift on up, reverse tabletop, inhale. Exhale, take your left fingertips to face the back of your mat. Take a funky little spin, end up in tabletop, inhale. Cat, cow, I mean. Exhale, take a cat. Inhale. Exhale, round and curl. Curl your toes under, send your hips up and back, down dog. Inhale, reach your left leg up and back this time. Bend your knee, open up your hip. 
square off your hip and draw your left knee in towards your chest. Step it through, pivot that back right foot on a 45. Inhale, rise up. Do your best to square that right hip forward, left hip back. And exhale, frame your front foot. Send that right leg back, heel toe that left foot to the outer edge of your mat, lizard lunge. Maybe find a twist. Inhale. Exhale, can you pivot towards the left all the way around until your left knee stacks on top of your right. Inhale, reach up tall. Exhale, fold over your right leg. Feel the stretch in the hamstring. Inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, returning to the top of our ladder flow, moving through the same thing and adding on to each side. Maybe moving a little quicker since we know where we're going. Inhale, find your straddle hold. Exhale, release the straddle. Dandasana, inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach up. Fingers face the front of your mat, reverse tabletop. Exhale, spinning towards the right, sweeping all the way over into a tabletop, just taking one cat cow this time. Inhale. Exhale, round and curl. Curl your toes under, send your hips up and back, down dog. Inhale, reach your right leg high to the sky, bend your knee, open your hip. Draw your right knee in towards your chest. Step it between your hands, back toe on a 45. Inhale, Virabhadrasana one. This time, exhale into our warrior two, sinking deeply into that right leg, extending the arms out long. Feel as though something's pulling on each of your fingertips in both directions. Inhale, exhale, flip your palm, reverse your warrior, reach up and over. Exhale, settle in, warrior two. Inhale, pivoting on those back left toes, rise up into high crescent, final length. Extend that back left leg, squeeze your glutes. Exhale, bring your palms to your chest. See if you can take that left elbow to the outer edge of your right leg. Find a twist. Parsvita, Parsva Kanasana. Maybe shift your gaze over your right shoulder. Feel the legs really working. Inhale. Exhale, lower that left leg to the mat. Maintain the twist. Find one more twisting motion, pushing that left elbow into your right knee. Breathe. Exhale, windmill your hands all the way down. Heel to that right foot to the outer edge of your mat. Find your lizard, ease off those hips, make it feel really nice. And exhale, pivoting into our forward fold, right knee stacks on top of left. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach all the way up. Returning to center, same thing, left side this time. Grabbing opposite edges of your feet or your toes, straddle hold, inhale. Exhale, release, dandasana, reach up. Exhale, fold over your thighs. Inhale, reach up, circle your arms behind you, reverse tabletop. Exhale, spinning to the left this time, sweep that right arm up and over, tabletop. Inhale, arch your spine. Exhale, push the mat away. Curl your toes under, send your hips up and back, down dog. Inhale, reach your left leg up and back, bend your knee, open your hip. Exhale, square off your hips, draw that left knee in towards your chest. Step it through, rise on up, Virabhadrasana one. Inhale, exhale, open on up, Virabhadrasana two. Extend those arms out long, drop the shoulders down. Relaxing your shoulders from your ears, sinking into that left leg. Inhale. Exhale, flip your palm, reverse your warrior, and settle back in. (sighs) 
Now sweep that right arm under, pivoting, squaring your hips, rise into high crescent. Extending through that back right leg, reaching your arms tall. Inhale. Exhale, settle into the left leg. Breathe. Inhale for length. Exhale, palms to your chest. Find the bind if you can. Maybe lowering that back right leg if it's more comfortable. Use that right elbow on your left thigh to find a twist. Draw those shoulders down and away from your ears to open up through your heart space. Inhale. Exhale, lower that back right leg. Feel a nice little break. Maintain that twist just for a couple breaths. Inhale. Exhale, release the bind. Find your lizard lunge on the left side. Make it feel really nice to get rid of the pressure on that left glute. And exhale, pivoting all the way to the back of our mat. Left knee stacks on top of right. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Sorry, it's the front of our mat. <laughs> Inhale, reach up. Exhale, back to the top. Okay, we have one more round. We're going to move through what we just did a little bit quicker and add on. Are you ready? I think you are. You got this. Grabbing the outer edges of your feet. Find your straddle. Inhale. Exhale, release. Legs forward. Dandasana, reach forward. Fold over your thighs. Inhale, reach up, reverse tabletop. Exhale, spinning towards the right. Find your tabletop, drop the knees. Inhale for cow. Exhale for cat. Curl your toes under, send your hips up and back down dog. Inhale, reach that right leg up and bend your right knee. Draw it in towards your chest. Step it between your hands, rise on up, Virabhadrasana one, inhale. Exhaling right into Virabhadrasana two. Flip your palm, reverse your warrior. Exhale, settle in. Pivot on those back left toes, rise up, high crescent. Exhale, bring your palms to your heart, hook that left elbow on your right leg. Find length, inhale. Exhale, drop that left leg to the ground. Undo the bind and reach that left arm up and over, right palm to your left thigh. Inhale. Exhale, spin your hands so that your palm, your right palm, is on your mat. Curl your left toes under. Reach on up, side angle. Inhale. Exhale, can you rise on up, coming through warrior two, coming to skandhasana at the back of our mat. Banding into that left knee, reaching through the right arm up if it feels good to open up that way. Maybe finding a bind if you would like. Inhale. And exhale, settle in. Inhale, reach that right arm up. Use that right arm to guide you all the way back up. Reaching forward, bending into that right leg. Can you bring your right fingertips to the ground and elevate on up into crescent moon? Maybe have your fingertips or your palm on the ground. Maybe just your middle finger. Maybe hovering. Inhale. Exhale. Find steadiness in that right leg. Breathe. Slowly, slowly bend into that right leg. Set your fingertips on your ground, square off your hips. Lizard lunge. Feel really good opening on up through that lizard. Pivot your way towards the front of your mat, right knee over left. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach on up and back to the top. The last round, you've got this. Find your shadow hold. Inhale. Exhale, legs out long. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your arms up and over. Find a reverse tabletop. Inhale. 
exhale, moving all the way to the left. Find a tabletop. Inhale for cow. Exhale for cat. Curl your toes under. Send your hips up and back. Down dog. Inhale, reach that left leg up. Bend your knee. Open your hip. Square off your hips. Draw that left knee in towards your chest. Step it between your hands. Inhale, rise up. Your Bhadrasana. Your Bhadrasana one. Exhale, open up. Warrior two. Inhale, flip your palm reverse. Exhale, settle in. Sweep your palms up, pivot your hips to square forward. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale, palms to your heart. Lean into that left leg. Hook the right elbow, find a twist. Inhale. Exhale, lower that back right leg. Sweep that right arm up and over for a stretch. Inhale. Exhale, windmill so that your left palm comes on the ground. Curl your right toes under. Side angle pose. Inhale. Exhale, rise on up, coming through warrior two, sinking towards the top of our mat in our right leg, Skandasana. Maybe reaching that left arm up, maybe finding a nice bind. Inhale. Exhale, reach your left arm up. Use that left arm to guide you all the way up. Extend forward, reach those left fingertips forward until they touch the mat. Elevate on up into half crescent. Draw your shoulders down, reach through your right fingers. Feel your left quadricep, your left hamstring and glute and calf really turn on to support us. listening to your breath. Inhale. Exhale, sweep those right fingertips down, send that right leg back, find your lizard lunge. Inhale. Exhale, pivoting on to face the front of her mat, left shin stacked on top, or left knee stacked on top of right knee. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. and rise on up. Take a cross of your legs. We've made it all the way through our ladder sequence. Feel free to repeat that yourself. Maybe add on some of your own postures. Have fun with it. But for now, we're going to begin to unwind. So come up onto your knees, just sitting on the backs of your heels. If this is too much, just curl your toes under. We're going to come into camel pose, kakasana. So to start, we're going to rise on up and I'm going to show you a variation before the full camel pose. So maybe this is enough for you to take your palms to your lower back with your fingertips facing up. Just having your palms just about where your tailbone is meeting uh, your butt <laughs> and use your palms just to push into that spot. Draw your shoulders down and back. Just opening up through the lower belly, bending gently into the lower back. It's a nice lower back stretch. Just be gentle with yourself here. Find your breath. And your next exhale, gently ease on up. So maybe take Karkasana again, but if you do want to go for the full Kimmel pose, then follow along. So for Kimmel Pose, start to find that bend in your lower back as we did. This time, maybe take your right palm towards your right heel. Check that out a little bit, see how it feels. And if it feels good, maybe take that left palm towards those left heels. And use this leverage of your palms on your heels to really draw your shoulders together. And when you're ready, relax the back of your neck. Inhale. And exhale. If you want to bring your palms to your spine to just help you ease on up so slowly. And settle in to a child's pose, rounding the spine in a nice little counter stretch. Extend your arms back behind you. 
on your forehead, sink into the mat. And just listen to your breath. Make your soul focus. Just paying attention to how it sounds. What the rhythm is like. What the depth is like. Maybe for one takeaway from practice today, you think about something you were proud of during your practice. Maybe surprising yourself with moving through some pretty complicated sequences and transitions. Maybe something a little more dynamic. And be proud of yourself for making it through and having fun and just smiling when we fall out or lose balance. And just feeling completely content with where you are now. Thank you so much for joining me for this ladder style flow. If you enjoyed this class, feel free to subscribe, hit that like button, and comment down below telling me your favorite part about the class. Namaste.